Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I will make a guide to JupyterScript. JupyterScript is a Google Chrome extension that helps you cup sneaker and other hyped stuff. First of all, I'll explain how much JupyterScript costs and how you can get your hands on a copy. Then I'll show you how to download and set up Jupyter. And finally, I'll show some footage where I try out Jupyter on Soulbox. As I already mentioned, Jupyter is a Chrome extension mainly focused on Soulbox, Snipes and Zalando. These are also the sites it cooks best. Jupyter Scripts also supports a bunch of other sites, which I'm not allowed to name here. Jupyter costs 35 euros initial with a recurring fee of 16 euros every month, but it is basically sold out every time. The only way to get your hands on a copy is via a restock or a group buy in your cook group. I got my copy over a restock, so I would definitely recommend to keep your Twitter notifications on, as you need to be very fast. I'll also link their Twitter down in the video description. So now we will come to the second part, downloading and setting up Jupyter Scripts. You can find the download link for Jupyter Scripts in their Discord. Then you need to open up Google Chrome and click on the three dots in the top right corner. From there on, you need to go to more tools and extensions. Once the site is loaded, you need to make sure that your developer mode is switched on. You can do this by clicking the developer mode switch in the top right corner. Then you can load the Jupyter Scripts file you just downloaded from your PC. You need to go to load more extensions and then you can just search the Jupyter Scripts file and click OK. You can now make the Jupyter logo appear every time you open up Chrome. If you click on the puzzle piece in the top right corner, then you'll need to click on the little pin next to the Jupyter logo and Jupyter Scripts will always appear in your Google Chrome as an extension. When you launch Jupyter Scripts for the first time, you of course need to sign in with your Discord, but then you will be redirected to the Profile tab. You can just create as many profiles as you want, but I am just creating a test profile. You can see here, you can add in your name, address and even your credit card information. When you finished filling out your data, you can either click save to save your profile or delete your profile. Next up we have the profile section. In this section you can just fill in your profile details, for example for the site Soulbox, Snipes or Onigo as shown in the example. When you finished filling out your profile data, you can just click on the little switch next to the profile to save it. In this section I will show you an example for the Zalando task. First of all you need to add your region and your account details. You can find the Zalando pits in the Discord server, as well as the monitor delay. Then you can choose your payment method. I will recommend PayPal or your credit card. Once you have finished creating your tasks, you can stop or start them. Next up, we have the settings module. Here you can choose your profile, for example, for Shopify Autofill. Next, you can just copy in and test your Discord webhook. Below that, you can just write in your proxies and click on the little switch in order to activate them. Then we have got the size settings. Here, you can either choose a size range or specific sizes depending on the needs. You can also choose any size which will randomly pick a size or you can run for size ranges with some empty spots for example 36 and a half, 37 and a half and 39. Next I'll show you an example test for Jupyter scripts on the side of Soulbox. My Jupyter scripts extension is already activated and all the specific modes are enabled. I've just chosen a random shoe for this test. Then you can basically just sit back and relax because the script is actually doing the work for you until you finally open up the PayPal browser. This means that you successfully checked out the product and you can just check out with PayPal. Thanks for watching for my Jupyter Scripts video. I hope I could help you a little bit with setting up Jupyter Scripts and if you have any questions you can just leave them down below in the comment section. I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like. 
or even a follow if you want to stay tuned for my next uploads.